Hey guys, welcome back to CKC Garage. And today we're gonna keep on going with these uh, restoration type videos. What we've got here on the table is an old school metal frame Jeep. So back in the day, the first generation of Power Wheels Jeeps actually had metal tube frames underneath. And they used to have these big old giant 775 motors. Um, and unfortunately, back in the day, they wired them basically completely opposite of today. So they used to come with these red top batteries um, and they were each six volts and it was wired into this harness to make 12 volts. I know, goofy, but that's just how they did it. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna teach you the harness flip. So it's got two batteries and I'm gonna go step by step and show you guys where to cut this crimp and what we're gonna do. So um, check this out. Back in the day, guys, they actually used to come with a resistor right on the brake pedal. And it also had the um, thermal fuse or breaker down here on the, the brake pedal too. So as you can see, it works. It's got high, low, reverse. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unplug it. Put these crappy red batteries to the side. And if this, if this is a barn find that you guys have found, like a Bigfoot or something like that, take your old battery and if it's rattling, that's so faded. Uh, the battery's junk. So our goal today going to be to take those two six volts and swap it for just a one 12 volt 12 amp hour battery it's actually smaller size it's gonna fit right in there so let's get started okay so what you're gonna need for this first part is four female crimp connectors so what we're gonna do is at the harness follow the batteries and they're actually spliced and shrink wrapped. We're just gonna cut it right there, each one. There's one and two. So you're gonna take that 14 gauge wire and you're gonna strip it back, ah, I don't know, three eighths of an inch. Get all four of those guys done. And then we're just gonna pop on one yellow 12 gauge crimp connector. These are my favorite crimping pliers. I like how it's got a ring there with a big tongue on the top and it gives a very solid connection. And I probably should have noted that you need to uh, keep keep the pairs kind of separate. So what we're gonna do is we'll take a little bit of electrical tape and we'll just wrap it around one pair just so that those stay together. So instead of the battery, that is now gonna go to your motor. And we'll get the other crimps real quick. If you guys don't have these, you could use the smaller blue crimp female connectors. Uh, I just like using these. All right, that is now your motor connectors. So this is out of the vehicle obviously for ease. Um, so these wires are now gonna be short so you'll actually have to extend those. So now we're halfway there guys. So these are now your motor wires. So follow your gearboxes, and there's obviously a positive and a negative or ground to each one. They're going to split. So um, what we're gonna do is on one motor, we're gonna put positive and negative. And then this one, I didn't think about that, but we gotta get this cover off. I actually don't like putting these uh, protective heat covers over it anyways. It, it traps the heat in. So I usually just toss these. 
Um, back in the day, you know, liability, they would put these on uh, to keep kids' hands. So what it is is on one gearbox, the positive is lined up, it's correct, it's at red. But on the other gearbox, and you're going to have to note if this is driver side or passenger side, but this positive lead is on the minus or negative or ground because it's actually has to spin in reverse rotation so that they both spin forward. Okay, so we're going to just unplug those. So as you can see here, see how it's forked? This is going to be your new battery lead. Same with your ground. Strip that same distance, about three eighths of an inch. Put it on your crimp. A lot of times I like to twist it a little bit, keep all of the strands nice and uniform. All right. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our motor, new motor wires, and um, to be honest, I'm not exactly sure which one is gonna be which, so you might have to play with these. Um, normally the white is positive, so I'm going to put that on the, the normal one that is is positive, and I can already tell that these brass tabs are fitting a little bit loose. So we're going to go ahead and just give these a little kiss with the pliers. So we're going to put the white one on the red. This isn't a big deal because you can easily swap these around. Um, and then we'll do the same thing to the other one. Actually, this is the battery lead. Okay. Don't want to do it too much like I might have just done because then it makes it really hard to get it over the brass tab. So on this one we're going to put the white, uh, we're going to put it over here, we're just going to try it over here. I have no idea. It's easy enough to take them off if one's going in the wrong direction. Alright, so here's your 12 volt 12 amp hour Mighty Max battery. We've already outfitted it with a resettable uh, breaker here. So we are going to hook up the red wire to the positive lead coming out of the breaker. Take off the ground cap and we'll Okay guys, so I had a major blooper there. I plugged in a motor and I saw some smoke coming out of the old uh, foot pedal switch there. Let's see if I can capture that and uh, replay that. But uh, remember when I didn't label the motor uh, leads, which one was from which battery? Yeah, I had a 50-50 shot. That's why I don't play the lottery. Um, so anyways guys, what you need to do, if you didn't do that as well, so look at this. The shifter here, there's two wires that come out of the middle. That goes to one motor. And then the top, there's two wires that go to the other motor. And then something else worth mentioning is uh, with your shifter, if you have, if you're converting it to one of these shifters, you will no longer have high speed. So when you put it all the way up, only one motor works. So you're gonna have uh, in the middle is one is forward and then down is reverse. It's still the same speed, you're not losing anything. It's just if you guys are trying to save this and trying to go with a 12 volt battery, that's just kind of how it is. So put the screw back in it. So if you've got an old Bigfoot, it's just going to have on the dash, it's just going to have these double pull, double throw switches. So basically guys, that's it. I am gonna uh, go online and find a wiring diagram to do this harness flip. Um, it's pretty cool. It can get you guys from, 
having to have two six volt batteries and all that ugly wiring, it really cleans it up. Um, and then it gives your motors um, posi. So that's kind of cool too. All right guys, uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching.